Welcome back to the Blue Intron here, and today we're going to be talking about how to get easy XP for your monkeys super duper fast. As you can see, I have more than a million XP on every single one of my monkeys. Uh, for some reason, my engineer monkey is just really, really low. But my most experienced monkey is my wizard monkey with 32,428,000 exactly, actually. That's kind of cool. <laughs> um, but then... We have, uh, as a close second, my heli pilot with 31,566,260. And uh, so I'm going to be talking about the best ways to earn XP for your monkeys super duper quickly. And in the process, you can earn some monkey money uh, while doing it. So you can get your skins or heroes or anything else you want to buy with that monkey money. Um, so this is going to be a super easy way to get your ooh, easy standard. I don't know why I have that one, but a uh, super easy way to get your XP for monkeys. So the first um, route that you can take is deflation. I know that most people wouldn't say that it's the best way to earn monkey money or that, well, on Muddy Puddles, it kind of is the best way to earn monkey money, but the best way to earn monkey money or to earn uh, XP. But if you basically just spam down one tower, uh, this is not the best way to beat deflation mode. Do not do this. But, like, something like this would be pretty good. Uh, not exactly that. Probably, um, like, a Dragon's Breath, a Ninja, um, I, you could do a Cursed Cluster. Um, these are just examples. Like, I could do a lot of recursive Clusters is what I'm saying. And all under an MIB, so they don't, like, um, like, so they can hit black balloons and stuff. So, if I have them under an MIB, and I get all these, uh, actually, that's all, all I have money for in normal deflation mode. Um, so, if I have this, then that's just about, uh, what I can get, and this is pretty good. You can pretty easily get some XP for the bomb shooter. Uh, that's one way to get uh, easy XP to do deflation and kind of just spam one tower or just do like one certain type of tower. Another way, uh, by the way, you should be doing this all on beginner maps. It really doesn't matter what map you do, I don't think, at least. Uh, so another way is going and going um, into military only. So this is obviously only for military monkeys. Uh, if you want to earn XP for military monkeys, going into military only, and then doing, like, uh, an Apache Prime, uh, like, going with an Apache Prime all the way to around 60, or even around 80, that can get you a lot of XP for the Apache. That's what I got, uh, well, that's what I did a lot, uh, when I was starting out. But, one of the best ways to earn, uh, XP is definitely going into something like Magic Monkeys Only, Double HP Mobs, Half Cash, Ultimate Blues, Rams, and Poppable. Um, the hard ones, that's what's going to be really good for you. I don't find Half Cash to be too good for it, but Double HP Mobs and Impoppable are definitely uh, two of the best ones. And I feel like grinding Chimps Medals, in my opinion, oh. is the best way to earn XP for your monkeys. Uh, so I used to do the Druid Strat so much, like, so much, and when I started using the Druid Strat, I was at, um, I think less than 3 million XP, and then when I ended, I was at, like, 8.6 million, now I don't do the, uh, if you guys are wondering what the Druid Strat is, it's, uh, Avatar of Wrath with five other Poplus near it, it boosts it, like, insanely, and with an MIB, it can crush their chimps like it's nothing, uh, at least on the right maps, so that's what the Druid Strat is. And so with the Druid Strat, I got so much XP, and I haven't been using it, so I haven't been getting XP for the Druid. Um, but then I use, uh, this is how I get all my XP for my Ninja Monkey. I use Balloon Chitsu, Cult Drops with Alchemist, Stronger Stimulant, Perishing Potions, or depending on the situation, Stronger Stimulant, Faster Throwing. You don't need Aspiral in there, just Faster Throwing, by the way. Uh, 401. So... That's how I have 8.7 million on the Alchemist. But I do use the Blinjutsu in nearly every situation, actually. I go, like, Blinjutsu is just a go-to tower for me. So you usually start off with a ninja on a map like this. 
uh, and then tax shooter, you um, can get overdrive uh, and build it up into the tax zone on like a chimps game to earn a lot of XP because those are always really good. So the reason I have so much XP for the dart monkey is because cross, cross oh my gosh, <laughs> crossbow master is a go-to for me for sure. Uh, and even if I don't get crossbow master, uh, the crossbow and sharpshooters still, if I leave them out there, get a lot of pops. Um, and so boomerang only five million. Um, there's not really a good way to grind for XP on this one. I don't really think. Uh, I guess you could get a glaive ward and go kind of late game, but that's kind of boring. The reason I have so much on bomb shooter is I use her cursor cluster way too much. I mean, it's really good. Uh, I use embrittlement a lot. It's probably why I have that much that much on the um ice monkey. I actually don't know what I have this. How I have this much on the glue gunner, but it's probably because uh, I do use my glue quite a bit. Uh, and so, uh, oh yeah, monkey sub. I use armor face and darts. Basically, uh, so what I'm trying to say is, you find one upgrade you really like, kind of spam using it. Um, let me go to cubism, where which is where I use my um submarine a lot of the time. So we'll go into. Uh, I'm actually going to go in sandbox mode. <clears throat> so, in sandbox mode, um, if you guys don't know what sandbox mode is, you basically you can do whatever you want. So, uh, sandbox mode, I'm going to just get a couple armor piercing darts, uh, put them here, and I'm going to get two more. Oh. So, armor piercing darts are really good. I basically only use armor piercing darts. I know I said two more, but um, I wanted to get a couple. And then, uh, they basically, the advanced intel is definitely the best because you can see wherever other monkeys can see. And that's, oh my gosh, it's just so cool. Uh, and that makes for some really, really good popping power. And um, if you're, say, you have a wizard monkey that has wall of fire, and then you send out... A uh, bunch of lead balloons. Bunch of lead balloons. Yeah, the armor piercing darts, even though they're seeing inside of the range of the uh, wall of fire, cannot hit it. So make sure that you have an MIB close by or something to optimize all your pops um, on these guys. But if you're going against these late rounds and you have all these DDTs and stuff, oh, they can't pop lead balloons, they're not DDTs, but all these ZMGs and BFBs and stuff like that, as long as it's inside the radius of these guys, yeah, they're going to do a really good job and get a lot of XP for you. And that's a really good way to grind XP. Honestly, on any hard difficulty game mode, I'd say um, this would be very, very efficient on. The mediums, not as much. Uh, but as you can see, they're not going to take down the entire thing, but they're doing pretty, pretty well. Uh, and so the last way, I think, to gain really really quick xp really fast uh all of those ways are really good i enjoy them but the last way is believe it or not co-op co-op is pretty good um the only way it really turns good is if you kind of go late rounds 80s to 120s um not too late but that's where you really get the xp so you kind of just just get one tower say a sniper um um, okay, I'm not going to create a co-op game, but I'm going to um, do it on just a regular game. Say you got a sniper, uh, a sniper army, snipers everywhere. Uh, take this as a co-op game, and say I'm just placing snipers everywhere. Imagine I have 500 times this, uh, and then you get, like, full auto rifle on, like, all of them. You get them all on, like, one upgrade, or you get cripple moab on all of them. That's a really good one, too. Then you will get so much XP for the sniper. You, it's just really good. So, uh, all these snipers will go. Speed this up. Uh, wait, no, I want count ninety nine. Perfect. That's better. That's more like it. Okay, that's way too many balloons for them. But as you can see, okay, they're oh my gosh. Hold on. Uh, where's the X? Um. So that was way too many balloons for them, uh, but it was still pretty good. Um, I just sent out way too many, but like 
it's still really good if you can get this at like 80s or 90s. Uh, you don't want all full auto rifles. You definitely want some other ones too. So make sure you have a variety, uh, I think. So it's just basically if you're going co-op, I think you should get a variety where you have um, maybe armor piercing darts here, uh, a nuclear reactor somewhere else. Uh, maybe, like, if you're doing Dart Monkey, you can go Ultra Juggernaut, a Crossbow Master, and a couple triple shots. Stuff like that. You just go all one monkey, basically, with some support towers. I could also have a Destroyer in there, and stuff like that. But mostly one monkey, and you kind of just go for it. Uh, how I got all my XP on the Wizard Monkey, if you guys are wondering, is I, I used Archmage, like... I don't remember a game when I started out that I didn't use Archmage. Archmage was my favorite tower when I started out. I always, always, always used it. Like, always. And then, uh, I got better. I started using Prince of Darkness a lot for Tim Strats. That got me a lot of XP, too. And then, um, I never really used Wizard Lord Phoenix, but these two, I just used them a lot. I just used them a, a lot. You basically just got to use the same tower over and over again. That's just all there is to it. And while you're doing this, you'll earn a lot of monkey money. Trust me. You'll earn enough to have almost all the heroes, plus some of the skins if you want. So anyway, that was how to earn some easy XP for monkeys and some monkey money while doing it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry I haven't been posting. Um, I have just been crazy. Uh, I'm going to get back to posting a little bit more frequently. And so anyway, make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below, share this video with your friends, and turn on notifications if you enjoyed it. And make sure to stay tuned for more. So as always, until next time. Peace.